soap is something most of us probably take for granted, but here at home and around the world, many people can't afford to buy it. And that's where Soap for Hope Canada comes in, diverting soap, shampoo bottles, and other hygiene products from the landfill to those who are in need. Tess Van Stratton takes a look in this week's Vital People. This was supposed to go to a landfill. These offcuts so, from a soap factory used to end up in the trash, but Soap for Hope Canada transforms them into bars of soap for people in need. Cut them up into small pieces, put it in a crock pot with distilled water, heat it up, put it into a mold, let it sit and then cut it, and then it has to be dried. And at Christmas time, we sent out thousands of bars. Early Namero personally made around 7,000 bars of soap last year. What I wind up with in the end is a soap bar that looks like something like this. And hopes to make eight or 9,000 this year. When you actually see the products going out to the end users, you're just like, it, it just blows you away. Um, how much need there is in our community. And a lot of it is hidden poverty. Um, it's not the person you see out there, it's the person that's stuck in their apartment. At Soap for Hope's Vic West Warehouse, volunteers also process partly used shampoo bottles and other hygiene products, as well as towels and sheets, which are all donated by local hotels. The volunteers are really the cornerstone of this organization. None of this could happen without them. The vo volunteers do all of the major processing, so all of the squeezing, filling, washing, packing orders, it's all run by volunteers. Picking up donations and making deliveries to local community groups, Carlos Martins is one of the 80 or so volunteers that help out every month. I love that I'm helping people who need it. Also, that it's keeping stuff out of the dumpster. It's recycling, but it's helping people who need it. And that's, that makes me feel good. We help all sorts of groups. We do like a lot of shelters, women's transitions homes, family services, sometimes schools, a lot of seniors, to name a few. Soap for Hope distributed more than 1.76 million items last year. The nonprofit hopes more hotels will get involved this year and individuals can also donate items. Razors, deodorant, um, period products, those sorts of things will take brand new and then we will take like if you've used half a shampoo bottle we'll reprocess it. This is hotel soap. Soap is also sent to developing countries to help stop the spread of disease including deadly Ebola outbreaks in Africa. So it's a huge you think oh junk soap coming out of a hotel can actually put a stop to a disease it's pretty incredible. As Erlene and other volunteers make a difference. Sometimes you get really emotional. Very very emotional. Um, some of the stories that come back are pretty, pretty gruesome, and you know you've done something for that person. One bar of soap at a time. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.